Hey guys, and welcome to another shaving video. Thank you for joining me, and I hope I find you fit and well and having great shaves. What are we using? Razor I haven't used for a while, and this is the, give it a polish, the Executive Shavings Braveheart. It's a three piece razor, non adjustable, heavy handle. Very Edwin Jekyll like head and it's stainless steel handle and the grip I've never felt a grip like this on another razor it's unbelievable like I say it's a three piece heavy handle and inside there for the second use we're going to be putting in a Gillette Nasset and I'll pop that in there now. So I hope you're fitting well, considering the uh, the pandemic's on the rise again, or well, it has been on the rise. Hope you're all being safe, doing the right thing. There she is. And this is the second juice, like I said. I've got a lot of blades that need using up, second, third, and fourth use, and so on. There's very little overhang with this, very little, but enough to be aware of. Right, the soap. So today is Razorock Triple X, and it's an Italian soap, it's a barbershop scent, and it's beautiful. It's a crope. And it's very soft and it's a I think it's a lanolin based and the base notes are oak moss and sandalwood and it's got lilac lavender patchouli rose orange blossom what else has it got it's got a few others in it I, I can't remember off the top of my head and yeah, so, and the brush, my first ever Yaki brush, and it's the Evil Zebra. Lovely brush. It's a 24mm synthetic professional. Tuxedo knot, very soft, beautiful. And the soap I've got in my, uh, my new bowl. Nice bowl, my daisy bowl. Daisy pots, and I've got a little bit in there. So, without further ado, I'm gonna wet the face and let's get lathering up. Let that moisture in the old whiskers because I've been in the shower or I've been out of the shower for about 15 minutes now. Just let that soak in, right? Three flicks of the brush. Let's get lathering. See how this thing, how this goes. So how are your shaves going? I'm still trying to get over that make a future shave, honest to God. And I've set myself a goal, and I'm gonna say it on camera now. I've set myself a goal of doing a two pass with pickups. Yes, two pass with pickups, considering I take five minutes on the top lift. Two pass with pickups, baby's bum smooth finish, and that's what I challenged myself to over time. It's not going to be tomorrow, it's going to be the next day, it's not going to be next week. I'm going to build up to it and I'm, I'm determined to get a, a, a two pass with pickups, BBS finish, shave out of it. So impressed. This is lovely, not great. This is lovely and absolutely beautiful. And the scent, I can really smell the orange. Oh, it's got lemon in it as well. So it's a bit zesty. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. The Duke of Soaps, oh, well, sorry, Razor Rock. I've got that much stuff I get mixed up. Right then. Let's get lathering. Look at that. Oh, I 
And I love this brush, it's a great brush, it's really soft. Holds the leather really well. And yes, you're not seeing things. It is me. I managed to get a head shave in this morning. My third ever head shave. Which it doesn't matter about the sideburns, so I'm going to take it up a little bit more there. More than usual. Yeah, so my third ever head shave, because I had to wait for that gash. Remember, if you watched the other videos, I had the gash there. It took ages to heal. Absolute hate, because every time I got out the shower and I dried off and dried my head and everything, it opened the, the wound up again. So to speak. But it took ages. This is beautiful, so. this all day because I, I didn't shave this morning this is late afternoon early evening as I'm filming it I've waited because I want to be as clean shaven for work tomorrow as possible just get some heat in the razor here we go the accepted shaving brain part three piece non adjustable Gillette and acid second juice don't have to worry about the sideburns just go with it First pass with the growth. Yeah, nice ways for this. I've had it quite a while and I haven't used it much. And it's um, it's a mid aggression, but it's lower mid. It's very comfortable. Nice heavyweight. Three days worth of growth. I'm not a daily shaver. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know that my mixed forces, I used to have to shave every single day, sometimes twice a day. I can't do that again. I don't think I could anyway. I think that's why I detested shaving so much. And it's cartridges then. And what we asked, or what, I, what we had to do, or what I did, used to have um, locker inspection. And you, every time you clean your razor, you used to have to clean it. Get it looking like brand new, like it never been used. But what I used to do, after a razor for every day shave, I had a brand new razor, a new blade in, and never used it. So when we had an inspection, it looked like I'd looked after my razor, but trust me, when I finish with these, after every single shave, I sterilize it with a um, disinfectant soap and a toothbrush, rinse it off, I let it dry for 24 hours, and then I put it back in, in its box. Everything goes back in a box, if I've got a box for them. Same with the um, brushes. After every use, they get sterilised. It's not because of COVID, but just hygiene, looking after your gear. So it'll last you a lifetime. Or as long as possible, anyway. So, how have you been? How was your week going so far? Nearly the weekend now. Yay! Not like we can go anywhere really still. But hey. I know I have to work Saturday. But I get a fairly early-ish finish on a Saturday. Really nice blade this. Still whistling. And it's 
been a, a busy beginning all week. Not to now. I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there's the slickness. I thought then, I thought, soap's not normally dry like this. Just that little bit of water. That is slick. It's a good soap. Reasonably priced as well. Just a tad. But I hope you're having some great shaves. I've been having some fantastic shaves if you've been watching the videos. And to new subscribers, thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. It really means a lot. And all your kind comments. I love reading them. Some people use some great gear out there. So tell me what your daily shave is. If you're shaving today. Yeah, comments are really, really kind, supportive. And like I can say there's some really nice people out there. Right, second pass across the grove. Yeah, work's been really busy, which is good, I suppose. How are you coping with the, uh, the new regulations now, or laws, or whatever it is? With the mask and work. We've got to wear mask and work now. Even though we're on, they split us on three different shift patterns, like three or four different shift patterns. If you don't know, I'm a postman for Royal Mail. I've been for the last 15 years. And I've been going in a lot less than what I normally do. Make sure that I'm keeping two metres apart because the office is quite small. For the amount of people in, it's impossible to keep um, two metres apart, which is good. They're doing the right thing. But now with the mask, it's really difficult in the mornings. Because even with fewer people in, it's really warm. It's really warm in the office. Especially with summer coming back. God, what's the weather been like? It's having storms and everything. High winds and what have you. Now summer's back. Been a great week, weather-wise. I think it was last weekend. It was... I think it was Saturday night, early Sunday morning. God, the wind. I got up early. I get up early anyway, but the wind won't be up. And... I went downstairs. Put like the um, security lights on if you like outside to make sure everything's in one, one place where it should be. Lucky enough, it was, but it was windy. And then later on, it died down where I live anyway, North Wales. It died down. Sun has been out all day, it's been fantastic. Not been doing too much, been trying to relax and ready for work. Uh, that's what I did on last Sunday. Alright, join this soap. I haven't used it for a long time. Like I said, previous video, 
I've got a lot of stuff that I haven't used for a long time and I need to give it an airing. <laughs> but I can't help myself with all these new soaps and everything come out. Like I say, it's a hobby, so the latest thing that comes out, you've got to have it. Speaking of which, I've got some new soaps coming. The future videos. Don't even need tidying up on the whole pot. That's that. Right, third pass against the growth. Yeah, new stuff coming. So looking forward to using them. I've ordered some, not that I need it, or the wife tells me I don't need it, Mrs. B. I don't need any more stuff. But I've ordered some blades that I haven't got. And I've ordered a couple of packs of blades that I've never heard of. So that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to using them. I've got what this razor was like, the performance on it. It's a beautiful razor. I'll put links into um, executive shading in the description as well. I'll do it for everything that I use. Because I've learned how to do it now. So I'm getting there slowly but surely. Considering I never knew You want to put a link in. I'm a bit behind the times, so I'm not te technically minded, so. A bit worried with using all the races after the uh, American Future, where they've got to be a disappointment. <laughs> that American Future is some razor. Absolutely beautiful razor. I just wish I'd got one sooner. But the reputation put me off, to be honest with you, being such an aggressive razor. But over time now, in 12 months or so, I think my skin's got used to it. This way of shaving. And I can use more aggressive razors now. Which is great because it opens doors then, doesn't it, to um, buy another razor. Make sure she's not listening. Saying that though, shocking me life the other day. She was looking online or something. She started asking me questions about razors and stuff. I mean, she does anyway. The wife. But it's more than normal. So, I pretend to be slightly, I don't know, fed up with the questions. She wants me to write a list. Wow. Of everything that I haven't got at the moment. God, the list is going to be huge. Of everything, a bit, bit like a wish list. Or a want list and a wish list. So it's two lists. Christmas. So I'm 
thinking, wow, I mean, she's good. She does support me in what I'm doing with the channel and everything. She knows I'm passionate about shaving and the hobby. And when I started thinking now, what have you done? What have you been buying? I'm gonna fucking hell. I'm getting paranoid. No. She was genuine. She wants to help me grow the channel. Like you guys. And I really appreciate that. We've got your comments, the subscriptions and the likes and everything else. This channel will be nothing. I, I tell you what, I'm enjoying it, making the videos, filming them and everything. More and more, every single shave that I have. And she's noticed as well, the confidence in me is built up in myself. And, um, not a lot of people know, and I wasn't going to say anything, but I suffer from PTSD from past experiences, and uh, I like my own company, and I don't know, it's, di it's different things. That I'm, I wasn't the person that I was. Pick up time. Now I definitely have to get that one up after the way I've spotted the last one because I forgot to get it up. So I've got to get that up before she sees it. Yeah, I, I wasn't myself. She's got to kill me. I wasn't myself. But she's noticed since I've been doing this, the confidence in me is coming back to how it was. And that's down to you guys give me that confidence, subscribing and kind comments, pick up time. And it's great, and I have noticed it, and it's a massive, massive bonus for me. PTSD is not a nice thing for anybody. I don't know if you know anybody that suffers from it or you suffer from it yourself. But it is hard to talk about it. I've had it for 25 years. So thanks to you guys for your support and everything. Like I say, it, it means a hell of a lot to me. It's not just about the shaves or anything like that. It's about you guys watching on kind comments. Not even a comment, just a like and a subscription. It's been absolutely fantastic. I appreciate it, every single one of you. Thank you very much. You better have a wet the hand. Switch the tap off, Chris. It's too noisy. It's because when I used to shave before I filmed, I used to leave it going so I just could keep uh, rinsing the razor off. This is a great shave. I forgot how good this razor was. That's fantastic. No issues. Uh, cold water in it. Wow. That's 
rinse the hands off because I'm I've really enjoyed using the Allen block lately. Really enjoyed it. Just look something out. Gotta pick that up now. Only slight sting, no feedback, as in noise. Nice fresh towel. Kept it out of your mouth that time. <laughs> it's a bloody awful. Oh, wow. What a nice relaxing shave that was. That was so nice. And it was nice to use that razor again. Executive Shave and Braveheart. Really nice. I love the handle and the grip on it. I mean, it doesn't even matter if you've got soap on your hand using it, the, the grip is that good. I'd recommend it. If you haven't already got one. Happy chappy, right. <coughs> no, well, yeah, tonic. No, uh, which hairs looks have used the on block. After shave and tonic today is Lucky Tiger. Me likes the Lucky Tiger. Restrictor. Tangerine. It's like those easy peel tangerines. Get a lot of them at Christmas time. Oops, missed me hand. Which is only around the corner. Sorry to frighten you. Oh yeah. Oh, I feel so nice. Oh, why not? <laughs> God, it's still echoing in. Furniture hasn't come yet. There's been a delay. The cupboards. God, that's really nice. Yeah, like I say, I'm really tired. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it comes across that way. I'm just, I've not been sleeping well. Right, bombed. Bomb, well it's not a bomb, it's a moisturiser. Expert for men. And it's for sensitive skin, aloe vera, bamboo extract and pro vitamin B5. Helps soothe and hydrate the skin. Give it a shake. I haven't used this for a while either. I hope it's okay. It's quite thick this stuff. Let's go with that. Do you know what it reminds me slightly of? The Nivea in the tin. That consistency. But it's good stuff. Slight scent to it. Pleasant. Yeah, that's nice. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It's been a while ago. They probably changed the bottle and everything by now. You hate that, you know what you're looking for, but... They haven't got any, but they are. But they've just changed the size or the colour of the bottle. So annoying. <sighs> right, that was a great shave. Right, do you want a recap? Should we go for a recap? Have we got time? Right. <laughs> Executive Shaving Braveheart, cracking razor, heavyweight, three piece, non adjustable. Really comfortable, easy to manoeuvre around the face and everything, gets up close to the nostrils. It, it, it's a really good razor. Right, inside there we have the Nasset, Gillette Nasset stainless for the second use. We've used the Razor Rock Triple X, lovely soap. We've used the Lucky Tiger Skin Tonic and Aftershave. We used my Daisy Green Bowl. We've used the Yaki Evil Zebra 24ml Synthetic Knot, Tuxedo Knot. Nice brush, my first Yaki brush. And we used the... Hello. And that's it guys. Another great shave. 
So thanks for joining me. Thanks for everybody who subscribed. If you just tuned in today, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help me build the channel up because I'm loving every minute of it. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping well. I hope your week's been going great. And I'll see you on the next shave. So until then, be good and stay safe. Thanks very much. Bye for now.